So let's do a test run to see if this works or not. <clears throat> I haven't painted outside in so long. I don't even remember uh, college, so a long time ago. So anyways, we're going to try this out. Um, I have yet to watch any tutorials or any, hey, this is helpful. I'm just going to go with pastels because they are the easiest, I think, for transporting. Uh, I got my time lapse going here. Let me just get that started because I forgot. And there we go. So this might be trash video. I don't even know. I'm going to learn as I go. And then later when it's too sunny to be out here because I'm in New York and it's too damn hot probably for me to be out here already, but that's okay. It was like snowing like two weeks ago. But anyways, I feel compelled to be outside. I've been wanting to paint outside for some time now. Uh, watching a lot of documentaries and the masters are always painting outside. So I feel inspired and I'd like to join. I'm hoping this won't cook my phone and that the um, tripod will do its, do its thing. All right, I think we're good. So anyways, I have a few flowers set up and uh, normally I would use my phone to help me plan my composition, but my phone is occupied, so I'm gonna wing it, which is usually a bad idea. My friend passed said, hey, watch some documentaries. We don't want you to wing it. And so I decided, nah, let's just wing it first. And then we can watch documentaries later today when the uh, when it's nicer or when it's, when it's too hot to be outside. Got some pants and mediums paper here. And uh, Rembrandt pastels. This is a Conti crayon, I guess. Conti pastel. I'm not a big fan of being uncomfortable outside, so we'll see how long it lasts.
just mapping out the composition right now. Not really committed to anything. It can be helpful to use your phone to help you figure out your composition. So in this way, I just slowly kind of carve it out a little bit at a time. I don't really care if I get everything per perfectly or not. First of all, I'm the only one who can see this at the end of the day. And second of all, it's art, so it can be whatever we decide. And again, this is just a test run to see how do I manage? How do I do being out here? Can I even tolerate it? I'm not sure. I'm not a big fan of being outside sweating to death. So we'll see. Here's the first glimpse of what's going on with this composition. Got all these different slats coming down this way. And this comes across like this. All right, there's that. So I don't really know where to start. I'm gonna just try it. It's blinding out here for first of all, so it's a little weird. But um and then I'm just trying to figure out it's been a long time since I've done this, so what are the colors I need? What what's coming on? So I'm I'm just gonna kinda start putting some some stuff down here. Got like this little wood uh bench porch. So and I've got a tabletop with a bunch of plants on it. This has got some plants. And so does this. I have a hard time sitting through one long session because I get impatient to be doing other things uh, or just to walk around or whatever and so it's good training for me to have to sit and just commit to doing this and this only. It's very easy for me to get distracted when I'm doing my other mediums to walk away from them. I have no desire to work super slow because I'll be baking in the sun, but I don't want to pressure myself either because again, this is just a practice run. See, can I even tolerate doing this? I don't know. I don't actually know. We're gonna try and see what happens. Be a little <clears throat> too thick for the chair legs, but I'll work around them. I'm just trying to give myself an idea of what I've got going on here. And this one kind of comes up underneath there, like so. Okay, I'm already sweating tears of tears of s sadness down my back. Okay, oh, the AC turned off, so I'll be interested to listen back, by the way, and see, um, let's not start with black, that's a little too committal. But anyways, I'll be interested to listen back and see like how incredibly distracting is that, or not at all, I don't know. All right, well, I was feeling a little dubious about the composition initially, but I'm, I'm feeling a little better. It's kind of a very yellowy green up there, but that's that. We've got a little bit of dark here. Right? And some very energetic greenery coming off of this. Kind of like 
like so. More of that in a little bit here. This has got a very short little bunch of green, and this is really more this color, actually. I gotta find out what all these colors are. All right, so it's an interesting composition because I've got like a very close foreground and a very far away background. Uh, and different things are foreshortened like this plate. I'm not really on top of it, but I'm much closer to it than I am the yard, so some things are a little more foreshortened. That one I exaggerated a little too much. We'll have to go back and fix that. Oh, and this as well. Actually, it's kind of a green, a darkish green. The problem with using pastels is they get away from me so quickly. But anyways, I start to use too many at once. <clears throat> okay, so there's that. Like a little red edged plate up here. And actually, another one back there. It's got like a terracotta pot on top of the table. shapes. Again, I don't really want to be too committal. I need to get this back area filled in so that we can kind of play with it. It's kind of a, a dead wood color, but uh, I don't have dead wood color in my arsenal, so we can do the best one we can. This is kind of a, an interesting woody color. So I'm just going to want to fill this in a little bit. I like to block things in when I first start to do these. A, lot, a little bit of the green sort of poke through and add some luminosity to it. Right? All right. Looking good. I haven't done a, a ton of pastels in my lifetime. Um, excitingly, um, I just got into a, a, a juried show uh, just recently with one of my pastels that I did. Uh, you can check it out on Facebook or Instagram. <clears throat> called Spotlight Effect, and it's of a musician playing the guitar, so it's kind of cool. Got a lot of cool stuff going on, so it's one of my, uh, I'm fond of it. It's a piece I'm pretty fond of, I would say. All right, so see, now we're starting to get like some bench going on there. And so down here, continuation of this tannish color, I guess. I to make sure that's like more flat. I think I have it like two, there we go. That's probably better. All right, so then we got floor and stuff. This comes down like here, in between here, uh, a little there. And then somewhere in here, we get like a, a, a the floor coming back up, or the ground, or whatever you wanna call it. The deck, the deck. So the deck comes out to here and to here. Okay, so. Let's make sure I get that all in there, right? Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of that to that. Right, okay, now, that's exciting. So, let's get, um, <clears throat> that's a good color, I like that. That's a Rembrandt pastel. Um, so, terracotta. Let's see. Oh, I just had, oh, there it is. All right, so there is a little bit more terracotta here. Let's add some of this in here. Oh, let's see this, this up here. A little terracotta pot up there. Down below, I've got uh, kind of a camel collar, I guess. Um, 
let's say maybe something to this effect or a honey color maybe and it's like a little trio of a pot. It's got one up here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of painting such tiny things. Um, I like to paint real big, kind of macro, but wanting to get outside, wanting to do more outdoors work. Um, so that being said, I'm willing to try to work my scale a little differently. Um, just because I'm not accustomed to it doesn't mean it's not worthwhile doing. All right, so in between these, I've got a bunch of grass peeking through the, the rails. I kind of want to get that in there. A little bit peeking through this rail here. All right. And then there's a whole lot going on up here too. underneath here, right, okay, So, I just want to be able to eyeball where some of this is happening. Got some bright colors here so I can see the tops. It's got kind of like a row of bush kind of right here that kind of ends like right there. And then we've got a whole bunch more of these types of things coming up, you know, out of the background basically. Alright, not bad. Getting there. A little bit of this uh, pot down here over the top of this one. Okay, and then next to it, a blue one. Haven't really had opportunity to use blue yet, so that's kind of fun. The nice thing about pastels is you can pick one that you like and that can be your color or you can adjust it or you can try to match it. There's that one. That one's a little too big, but that's all right. I have a little uh, frog down here. Oh, that's not quite bright enough. A little frog down here. A glowing type uh, outdoor art ornament. Uh, and then there's another one kind of right here. Oh, that breeze feels so good. It's, it's warmish out to me. Not quite. Uh, familiar with all this extreme heat. Not that I'm complaining. We, we definitely like the heat. Got to spend some time outdoors this past Memorial Day weekend, which was fantastic. Back to work though. Not Monday morning, but Tuesday morning, I guess you could say. Back to work Tuesday morning. So, 
That's where we're at with that. The table's got like some blue going on on the top, which is kind of nice. A little bit of that repeated element of blue uh, in a couple places. For example, there's like this blue watering ball thing here. So that'll be cool. Um, back to this plate down here. Not really a plate, it's kind of a, oh no, that one, that one's a plate actually. Some of these are plates, some of these aren't having a hard time getting that shape. But sometimes I just walk away then if I'm having a tough time. It's just like a little ring of something on this. It's like a plastic thing. All right. Doesn't look like much yet. Take some time to carve it out. Got some bright light up here. I don't want to miss it. That right there. Go with a little bit lighter one. I'm trying to get like a transition between those. Here we go. About that might be too light. I don't know. I think one more up will do it. Yep, there we go. Pretty bright on the top here. I'm just gonna see if white does what I'm looking for. Kind of. All right. And then a little bit down here. My time lapse just died because the phone is too hot, so I'm going to call it quits for now and I'll come back out maybe in a little bit and do some more. We'll see how that went. All right, maybe it'll be a good video and you get to watch it. And if not, no harm, no foul. Enjoy the rest of your day.